y'all and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am so excited to be sharing with y'all some of my all-time favorite college products and essentials. So basically these are all items that I didn't really start using a lot until I got to college and now I don't know what I would do without them. I don't think I could survive college without these things. That might be a little bit of an exaggeration but I do really love all of these items and so if you guys are starting college soon or next fall or anything like that hopefully this can be helpful for you and get you started with your shopping list on things you need to keep on your radar that you're gonna want to have. So the first thing I want to talk about is Spotify and Spotify is something that I never used when I was in high school. I was just one of those weirdos that used Pandora and now I use Spotify every single day. I pay for the student discount for it. I think it's like three or four dollars a month um, to have the subscription with no ads and then you also get like a subscription to Hulu as well I think. I haven't set that up yet but that's a really awesome deal. They do have a student discount for college students and I love having Spotify and recently on Spotify I've been listening to a lot of Kelsey Ballerini and I'm actually so excited to be partnering with her and her management team for this video because I want to announce to y'all that her new album Unapologetically is coming out today Friday November 3rd so if you're watching this today Kelsey's new album is out and you should check it out. So I never really listened to a lot of country music before coming to college but if you've never heard of Kelsey Ballerini she is a country artist but she kind of has more of like a pop twist on all of her songs which is why I really like them and I've really been loving her old stuff and I'm so excited for her new stuff to come out today. So some of my favorite songs by her right now are Peter Pan, Dibs, and Unapologetically which is like the single off of her album and since that single's so good I know that her new album is going to be great too and so if y'all are excited and you want to listen to it I will have a link down below to where you can listen to it on Spotify. I'm also going to be adding it to one of my new playlists so if you want to follow me on Spotify and listen to my playlist that I've made. I'll put a link to that down below as well. But I was just so excited to be able to partner with Kelsey for this video because I really am a huge fan of her music and I've been listening to it a ton recently and going back to the Spotify thing, like having Spotify in college is such an essential. Everyone I know listens to it and walking to class, sitting in a coffee shop, studying, you can listen to music all the time and you're gonna want to have a Spotify subscription. And with that Spotify subscription, you can listen to Kelsey's new album. Next thing I wanna talk about has to do with my phone right here. I'm gonna take my credit card out of the back so y'all can't go hack me. But I wanna talk about phone pockets for your phone cases. Um, so I don't know like the technical term for these things, but I just call them like little phone pockets. And basically, it's this little sticky thing. Hang on, have some more, I'll show y'all. They're these little um, like flexible sticky pockets that you can stick onto the back of your phone case and use to hold your credit cards and your ID and money, stuff like that, and I love having these. I recently put this one on my phone case. It's really cute. It says Find You, and then I also have a couple back up here um, that I can use if that one ever breaks, but it's so nice being able to put my ID and my debit card down in there and just carry my phone, not having to carry my wallet anywhere. So you can order these online, but a lot of schools will also give them out for free. Like I got this one from Belmont, and a lot of times organizations will give them out for free at your school. I also got this free one at Cookout, which let's just be real, Cookout is another college essential. I didn't ever try Cookout until I came to college and now I eat there all the time and I don't know what I would do without it. So another college essential right there. Kind of contradicting what I just said, how I don't have to carry a wallet all the time. When I do need to carry a wallet, I love, love, love this one that I have right here. So I have this one from Kate Spade. I got it for Christmas and I really love it. My ID isn't in there right now, but there's a spot for my ID on the back. Um, and then it opens up and there's a zipper and then like spots for cards and everything. And obviously I have my car key and like my apartment keys on here too. And this is just great because really I don't ever want to carry around my whole purse because that's heavy. That's bringing too much stuff. And so just having something small like this to carry around with me is perfect. So I would really recommend trying to find a lanyard or a keychain or wallet that's small like this of some kind because I promise it will come into great use. All my friends use something like this. Next thing I want to talk about is a product I actually used this morning and that is dry shampoo. This isn't necessarily a new product by any means. I'm sure most of you know what dry shampoo is, but I just didn't really use this very much until I came to college and now I understand the struggle of not having time to wash your hair every day and so when I don't have time to wash it, I just use this and it's great. This kind is from Batiste or Batiste, I don't really know how you say it, but you can get it like at the drugstore at Ulta and it's really inexpensive and it works wonders. Also this kind smells really good. I went to a bonfire last night so my hair was smelling all smoky and I didn't have time to wash it but I used this and well TBH it still smells a little bit smoky so this this isn't going well, but I do really like this and would highly recommend it. You are definitely going to want to invest in some dry shampoo before coming to college because I'm telling you, 
you will use it more than you think you will. Next, I want to talk about leggings, which is, you know, every girl's essential wardrobe item, am I right? Um, but I was never allowed to wear leggings in high school. We couldn't wear them to school because they were against our dress code. But coming to college, um, I don't wear them a ton. Like, I don't wear them every day like some people do. But I do wear them more often now. And I've really liked the pairs that I've invested in. I've gotten two pairs. Actually, I think I have one more um, from Lululemon, which if y'all have heard of Lululemon, it's kind of a pricey. Actually, it's like really pricey. It's a really pricey brand. But but their workout clothes are great, great quality. I have had these for like two years now and I really, really love them. They are so thick and stretchy and even after washing them, which I know you're not supposed to wash them or you're not supposed to dry them or something like that, but I still do it anyways and they are still doing just fine. The quality of these is great and I would say they're a great investment, um, but even if you're not looking to buy like a hundred dollar pair of leggings, you are definitely going to want to stock up on leggings in general because people wear leggings all the time in college because they're the comfiest way to go. Another wardrobe essential that I didn't really start wearing until I came to college were baseball hats. And I used to think like hats don't really look good on my head. I don't have a hat kind of head, but in college I've just, I've overcome that and I wear them anyway. So I have two fine new ones right here that I think are both really cute. But again, going back to the not having time to wash your hair kind of deal, hats are great for that because you can just cover up the greasy mess. So I got this hat right here from the Letter Market, which I included some stuff from them in a haul a couple weeks ago, but they have a bunch of really cute sorority and monogrammed hats, so if you're interested in that, I'll put it down below. And then this hat, it also says Find You, and I actually made it for my sorority, and like we sold them to our members, but I also really like this one, think it's super cute, and yeah, basically hats are a good thing to have because, again, you'll wear them more than you think you will. The last essential I want to talk about might be kind of an obvious one, but that is my laptop. I have a MacBook Pro, and I got this as a graduation gift from high school, and I do not think I could survive college without this thing, and that is not an exaggeration. I actually left my laptop earlier today when I went to class, and I was like, Oh my gosh, like I almost just had a brain explosion because I didn't know what I was going to do without my laptop because my whole life is in this thing and it is such an essential. It is a really big investment. Obviously, laptops are not cheap, but I'm telling you, you will use them. So if you can like save up graduation money or ask for it for Christmas or birthday, graduation, anything like that, I would highly recommend it because this is my like ultimate college essential right here and it's it's been my little baby. I don't know what I would do without it. So definitely invest in a laptop if you are coming to college. I promise you won't regret it. All right, and that is going to be it for my college essentials slash favorites video today. I didn't really know what to call this video because it's just kind of a combination of a lot of different things. But I hope you guys liked this. If you're interested in anything that I talked about, I'll put links to everything in the description box down below. Also, I will have a link to Kelsey's new album down below, so be sure you go check that out and let me know if you listen to it and if you like it. And also, don't forget to follow me on Spotify. And while we're at it, follow me on Instagram and Twitter too, because those are always linked down below as well. All right, I think that's all I have for today. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, comment those down below and I will try and get back to you. And I hope you guys liked this video. I will talk to you next time. Bye.